Aerospace has typically been a male-dominated industry, but we're seeing a lot more examples of initiatives to get women involved. I'm with Karen Muller, the International Director of Women in Corporate Aviation, and she's going to tell us about the work that they're doing. Karen, can you tell me a little bit about Women in Corporate sure. Aviation? Sure. Um, well, thanks for having us. Um, we are a membership organisation consisting of volunteers, pilots, engineers, commercial people, you name it. We're trying to mentor, we're trying to network, we're trying to provide scholarships on behalf of big organisations that support us. And um, yeah, just bringing corporate aviation closer to the masses because it is traditionally quite an inclusive club. And if you don't know it exists, it's even more difficult to find it. And you've also got a day job outside of all this work, haven't you? I do, yes. I'm not a pilot. I'm not an engineer. Um, I have an MRO background, but for the past 11 years, I work in logistics, emergency transportation okay. for a company called Sterling Global Aviation Logistics. And we do a lot of James Bond missions, basically to help aircraft get off the ground as quickly as possible so that they don't have to pay for people staying in hotels, EU compensation and so on. <laughs> Excellent. So what, what do you enjoy about that job? It sounds very exciting. I always wanted to work with people and I love the networking aspect, I love the fact that I can walk around Farnborough Air Show and know so many people and just really, you know, know all the players in the industry which is fantastic because of course their stories, their backgrounds are just amazing. And what kind of, you know, what would you say is one of your best experiences in that role? The best experience is in the day job, if you get an aircraft off the ground and an airline saves themselves upwards of half a million pounds on lost revenue, that's an awesome feeling. For women in corporate aviation, it's amazing to see when you have young ladies first reaching out, trying to find their path, and when someone comes to you and says, I'm now flying a corporate jet. Excellent. You know? so, yeah. <laughs> and so what, what would you say are the major opportunities to get young people, girls excited in, about this sort of career? Well, it's so varied, you know, between takeoff and, and landing, there's about, you know, almost a million different jobs, part numbers involved. So there's so much variety in the industry. So you don't always have to go down the technical route. You can always work in commercial, etc., etc. So there's a lot of opportunity out there. We just need to bring it together because there's a massive shortage in the industry, of course, overall. And what difference do you think it'll make to attract more people, more diverse workforce in aerospace? Well, we need the new generation. We need to fill, there's a lot, a lot of potential out there. We need to fill those slots. And it's about finding these people. So anybody who's interested but not quite sure, what should they go out and do to get going? I think they need to create a network. They should start early. They should scour the internet. They should look at organizations like Women in Corporate Aviation, Women in Aviation, um, the NBAA, all these organizations that are out there that can provide funding, etc. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. Check out our videos on wearefin.com to see the types of jobs you could get in aerospace.